Can you be paying? Hmm? I showed the camera how pretty you are. You a pretty girl? Yeah, I think you my pretty girl. <laughs> You're like, put me down, human. I don't know why I'm here. Are you going to yell at me the whole time? Hmm? She always does this every time I'm recording. She's like, I must talk to it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I am Vintage Scribs, and today we are going to be talking about the 90s. Ah, oh, the 90s. <laughs> I was born in 1995, so I don't remember much of the 90s, but my sister, who was born in 1991, remembers the 90s vaguely from when she was growing up. But today, we are going to be talking about the hairstyle and makeup of the 90s, uh, because I'm a little bit extra. <laughs> And there was someone on my 1940s pinup video who had asked me to do a specific 90s look, which includes a bandana, and that's about it. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna need is a brush, bandana, and I did have a hair tie. Where did it go? Ah, and a hair tie. Now the hair tie is only gonna be used for a couple seconds, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a brush, brush through your hair, Make sure it's nice. I just got back from a theme park so it's all gre greasy and sweaty and fun. <laughs> and you're actually going to take a brush or comb, whatever you have, and you're going to part down the middle like so. Brush that out. Make sure it looks nice and flat. Now the 90s hairstyle, it was kind of all over the place. There wasn't, from what I looked at, there wasn't a specific hairstyle that kind of fit the 90s. I think it was the 90s were just do whatever you want to do. And uh, <laughs> the only thing I know about the 90s is teased hair was a really big thing for some reason. There are some things that are <laughs> interesting in the 90s that we decided to do as a choice, but here we are. <laughs> so now your hair is kind of, it's not going to stay like this, I promise. Um, it's just to keep your hair out of your face because we need to add the bandana. So what you're going to do is you're going to take any old bandana, red, blue, black, whatever, <laughs> um, and just kind of fold it in a triangle like this. Now, from what I understand is you can keep the bandana like this. It can be a large triangle or you can fold it another, I want to say halfway down, maybe, a, maybe about a fourth way down and make it a smaller triangle, like so. And we're gonna focus on the smaller triangle right now, because that's the person suggested. So you're gonna fold it, make your small triangle. Now you're gonna take your triangle and you're just gonna place it, not, you're gonna place it about, do, 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 just enough so you can still see your part. You need to make sure that it is in the middle. <laughs> or else it's not gonna turn out as great as you would hope. And you're gonna just tie it around. Make sure it's nice and tight too. Especially if you're going out and doing things within the day, make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't fly off. Nice and tight. Now you're gonna take out the ponytail and you're just gonna kinda shake your head around. You can brush your hair out again if you like to. Oop, make sure you don't move the bandana. Real slow. So the look is kind of ruined. Now, you can leave your hair just like this where you can see the part in the middle, like so. Fluff out the headband or the bandana a little bit. You can leave it just like that. Or you can bring these out a little bit more, like so. Or what most people and girls in the 90s did, take a little piece of hair like this, brush that out so it doesn't look as messy. Take a little, brush it out, down like so. Now personally, I think this is very cute. And depending on the thickness that you, sorry, my cat is moving things around. What? Now depending on the thickness that you want these little strands, you can have them to where they're only about that thin and it'll still look fine. But you can also you can pretty much make them whatever you want. The 90s were about you. Make the look that is great for you. Now, let's move on to makeup. 
Now in the 90s, from what I've seen, I'm going to go into my little drawer here. My messy, messy drawer. You're going to take an eyeshadow palette or whatever you have. And shimmer was everything. Not necessarily like different color shimmers, but like a nice silvery shimmer was really big back then. And let's see if I have it here. You either had a lip, like a lip gloss or whatever, or like really dark lips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a, and you probably don't need to do like any priming or anything. It's totally fine. Ah! I just went to move everything. And um, if you can see my leg, it is, um, <laughs> it is a color. Now that you have your makeup palette and hopefully didn't spill all your eyeshadow all over yourself like I just did, you're gonna take a fluffy brush and you're gonna pick from one of these kinds of silvers or white or whatever you have, totally fine. I think any kind of light colors were big in the 90s. Like I said, the 90s were like, you be you. Figure out what style works for you. Who cares what anybody else thinks? And that's what she rolled with. Maybe like a silver or white or cream. And you're just gonna pat that down. I mean, you can put eye primer on if you want to. It's totally fine. I'm also using the viewfinder of my camera, so I apologize if this looks messy. And again, I know my hair probably looks greasy, but it's because I did just wash it yesterday. Is because I've been out all day and um, I didn't get a chance to take a shower yet today. I could have taken one this morning but when you go to a theme park in Florida no matter what the kind of weather is you're always gonna sweat. <laughs> so like taking a shower before you go anywhere outside of Florida it's pretty much pointless. <laughs> It's better just to take a shower after you come home. Now I think the cat eye was kind of popular. Let me look back at my database here, which I mean Google. The cat eye I was not big back then. I would say, if anything, dark eyeshadow down or uh, liner down there, but they did kind of go in towards the brow a little bit. Like I said, I don't remember anything of the 90s because I was born in 95. And my sister really wouldn't know because she was technically only born in 91. So she doesn't remember much of the 90s herself, but she remembers all kinds of TV shows. And my sister is not one for makeup. So she probably didn't care either. But now that you have very shimmery eyeshadow, it's very nice. Gonna put that away for now. And if you want, you can add a little bit of glitter. I think that was a very big thing in the 90s. Like I said, I think the 90s and the 2000s kind of merged together. At least in the early uh, 90s and whatnot. So I'm gonna put a little glitter right here. Just cause I can and get all eyeshadow all over my finger. Just wipe off everything I just, oh my God. Hang on, I'm gonna fix this. Okay, now that I've kind of fixed the monstrosity that this was, <laughs> but that's okay, it's the 90s. You, be, you, you have your own 90s look. So there we have that. This also is what I get for only looking at a viewfinder of a camera and not an actual mirror. So now you're gonna take your dark lipstick and I'm actually gonna use a mirror for this, where'd it go? Ha. You're gonna take your dark lipstick and you're gonna fill that puppy in. Who cares if it looks good? Apparently the 90s didn't. And there you have your 90s look. I mean, it's it's okay. I'm I'm not I like I'm not as caught up on the 90s as I am the 1940s. Um, but it's not terrible. I would say what were the 90s? 
Pins. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was kind of all over the place, including my cat interrupting me, me spilling uh, my shadow all over myself. <laughs> Just, uh, this was a mess and I'm a mess. And I hope all of you are having a great day. If you're not, it's gonna get better. Just take it one day at a time. Oh. Also, if you have any other suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm always looking to try new hairstyles. If you want to see a different look from like 80s or 60s or whatever, just leave a comment down below and I will definitely show you the tutorial, especially if you have my hair length. I know there's a lot of tutorials on hair that is like down to your back or there's really short hair tutorials. If you're looking for a kind of easy way to do any other hairstyles of the 1900s or wherever, I'm totally open to suggestions and like the 90s, I will learn along with you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye!